Nordic good morning, you're essentially doing a precursor to a Nordic hamstring curl. There's lots of ways you can set up a Nordic hamstring curl if you don't actually have a Nordic hamstring curl machine. In this case, I've actually taken my safety bar, placed it upside down on the rack, and then put a squat pad underneath it. That way it's easier on my ankles. And then I'm up elevated on top of a box just because my um, my safety bar is not going to go that low. So from this position, once you're anchored in and you don't feel wiggly at all, you're going to just take your body, lean slightly forward. So you just want to get just forward enough that you're starting to feel a pull in the hamstrings at the knee joint. So there should be a slight bit of tension. That's going to be where you stop. Now from here, we're going into a hinge motion. So the hips are going to press to the rear. Nose goes down toward the floor. You're maintaining that tension in the lower part of the hamstrings. And as you start to straighten up and you're pressing the hips forward, then you start to create tension in the upper portion of the hamstrings more near the hip joint. So we're working on creating a lot of tension throughout the entire range of the hamstring muscles. So leaning forward, a little bit of tension, hips go back, forward, and it's going to get progressively harder to get those hips forward. You really want to feel like there's a strong hamstring and even glute contraction to get those hamstrings completely tightened and the hips all the way underneath the shoulders again. But if you get the hang of this and you need to increase the difficulty, you can always increase the number of repetitions or the amount of time holding that contracted position. Or alternatively, you can hold a dumbbell and do the same thing, just adding a little bit of weight to the exercise.